Guys, welcome back to World's Illuminator 11. I hope you're all having a wonderful Sunday and having a lovely weekend as well. So I have just been doing uh, some readings, some personal readings for the shorter readings that I've started offering on the channel. Um, so to the couple of people who I've told that you're getting your readings today, they're coming, they're still uploading. But I also started getting uh, messages as well as I was finishing those readings. Um, that, you know, there are some messages coming through for the collective. So I'm bringing in these decks and these are going to be messages from your divine masculine, what they're wanting to say to you as we come to the end of this weekend. And as I said, these are for the collective. But if you're wanting to get more direct messages, you know, personal messages coming through from your divine masculine, where we focus on your divine masculine's energy and what they're wanting to say to you with the help of the angels, then you can contact me for one of those shorter readings. And it was really lovely connecting with the energies and, you know, the readings that I did today, because today was the first day that I started doing those readings. So if you're wanting one of those for yourself, I did... Um, put a post on the community page about it not long ago and a, a little video as well that I shared. So, you know, you can, or you can drop me an email. My email address is in the description box. Um, always in, ev uh, you know, every video that I share. So you can drop me an email and I'll be able to send you details of the different shorter readings that are available and we can arrange a time for me to do that for you. So we are going to do a quick check-in to see what's coming through. This is for the collective. What's what the divine masculine wants to say to you with the divine masculine messages to divine feminine divine masculine opens up and the love and the progress so thank you angels what is the divine masculine wanting to say to the divine feminine today so we've got this one here we have this one here and this one really moved as well so that one okay and then thank you angels what is divine masculine wanting the divine feminine to know so we've got this one this one here and this one okay and thank you angels what is divine masculine wanting the divine feminine to know today so we've got this one here we've got this one here this one here and one more here right and that one as well right Okay, so let's see what's coming through, what they're wanting you to know today as we come to the end of this weekend. So first card that we've got is, can you forgive me? So your divine masculine is saying to you, divine feminine, can you forgive me? And I feel that these are things that they think about, you know, when they're thinking about things that have happened in the past, you know, it's the weekend. I feel that, you know, they may be at home just really sort of in their mind thinking about the things that have happened in the past and, you know, saying, can you forgive me for the way that I acted, the words that I spoke, you know, the things that I did? Can you ever forgive me? So I feel this is something that's going through their mind, you know, wondering if you forgive them for the things that have happened in the past. And, you know, the divine masculines tend to no, realize that, you know, they're divine feminine. Usually as a divine feminine, you work through that and you heal that and you forgive them. You are forgiven a long time ago, but because it's in their mind, it's something that they're constantly thinking about with that guilt and shame and thinking of things of the past because they're in their mind a lot. They wonder if you forgive them. So they're saying to you, can you forgive them? And that's because they struggle with forgiving themselves for the things that happened so they say to you can you forgive me because they are thinking about that a lot so i feel that's what's going on they're thinking about it and they're in their mind a lot you know sort of wondering if you forgive them for the things that have happened and they're also saying to you here you are my truth so they're saying divine feminine you are my truth you know i know that you are my truth as in the one that i have this powerful connection with you know the one that i feel that there's something amazing that is there between the two of us you know you are my truth you know even if they may have tried to get away from the connection and everything that they've uh, they've done you know they still see those signs that are leading them back to you and they realize that there's something powerful and something special there that the love that they may have tried to get away from that is getting even stronger the love is always there so they're saying to 
to you, you are my truth. Can you ever forgive me for what happened before? Because you are my truth. And they're also saying to you, trust the journey. So they're saying, trust the journey. You know, this journey is a journey of healing. You know, they have to heal. They have to forgive themselves for things that have happened in the past. They have to release the past. And they're saying to you, trust the journey. I feel this is also a message from your angels saying, trust the journey. You know, they are going to get there. They are going to find their way. They're going to work through forgiving themselves, you know, and, you know, release those things of the past that they're holding on to. They will change things in their life. You know, they're going to get there. It's all part of the journey that they have to walk themselves as well, you know, because their soul is here to learn lessons. And in all these things that have happened with you, the things that they're experiencing in their life right now, the challenges that they experience, the lessons that they go through, it's all part of their own journey. So it's about you trusting the journey because it's helping both of you to go through what you need to go through, to learn what you need to learn, to help both of you to move forward. So you're being asked to trust the journey. And like I said, I feel it's also a message for you from the angels. Your divine masculine is also saying to you, if there's anything that makes me wake up in the, in a sweat, if there's anything that makes me wake up in a sweat, panicking and causes me to worry, it is the idea of losing you to someone else. It scares me. I am coming back, my love. So they're saying to you, you know, it scares them that they may lose you. So they, you know, realizing that you are their truth and thinking about the things that have happened and, you know, how they acted and, and then thinking, how can you, can you forgive me for that? You know, but then they don't want to lose you because they realize you are their truth. You are the one that they love. And they're saying to you, if there's anything that, you know, causes me to wake up in a panic and a sweat is, you know, maybe waking up from a dream that you may, or have someone else, or you may have moved on, or you move on with someone else. And it's something that worries them and it scares them. So they're saying to you, it scares me. I am coming back, my love. They're also saying to you, my silence is not because I don't want to talk to you. I really do. But I have to work on myself first and sort things out in my life so I can be free to be with you. So they're letting you know that the silence, you know, them not communicating and, and, you know, and not opening up and telling you how they're truly feeling. It's not because they don't want to, you know, you are their truth. They know they have this love for you, but it's because they are still needing to work on themselves first. They're still need to, needing to sort things out in their life. They're still needing to find their way. They're still needing to go through that awakening. They're still needing to forgive themselves for the things that have happened in the past. So they're saying to you, you know, I still need to do these things first, you know, in my life. So I can then be free from everything that is holding me back. The fear, the comic situation, you know, everything, the insecurities, all these things that they need to work on for themselves. So they're saying the silence is not because they don't want to talk to you. They do, but they're still dealing with all these things. They still deal with the guilt of the things that happened in the past. They have to release all that. So that's what they're letting you know. It's not that they don't want to talk to you, but they have to work on all these things first to then be free of them, to then move forward towards you. And they're also saying to you today, our story has not yet ended. In fact, it is only just building up to the climax. I not only have hope that we will be together again, I also trust and believe that when the time is right, we will have the most beautiful life together because we are meant to be together. We, are, we were born in this lifetime for each other. So they're saying to you, yes, I know what happened in the past. I know what I did, but our story has not ended yet. You know, I know I walked away from this, uh, from, from us, from us being together in the physical, but you are my truth and our story has not yet ended. It is just building up to the climax. You're both going through what you need to learn and grow through, as I said before, so that you can be ready for that life together. And they're saying to you, I not only have hope that we will be together again. That's why they're saying to you, trust the journey. I have to work through certain things first, but I not only have hope that we will be together again, I also trust and believe that you will, you will have 
the most beautiful life together when the time is right. So that's about trusting the journey again. The time will come when it's the time is right for the two of you together. Right now, they're still working on finding their way. They're still, you know, healing things. They're still working on forgiving themselves. But they're saying to you, because we were born, we were meant for, for each other. We were born in this lifetime for each other. So the time will come when, you know, it will be the perfect time for us to come together. So that's what they are saying to you. And they are also saying to you, I am currently working on freeing myself from my karmic ties, my fears, and all that is holding me back from being with you. So that's what they're doing. You know, during that time of silence, this is the time of preparation. This is the time of healing, of releasing, of working through all the things that are holding them back. So they're letting you know that they're doing what they need to do. You know, currently working on freeing themselves from these things so that they can then be free to be with you. So that's what they are letting you know. I am doing what I need to do in my life first so I can be with you. So they're really wanting you to know that they're doing what they need to do. They realize they have to free themselves first from these things that are holding them back so that they can then be able to have that life with you. And they're saying to you, I'm doing what I need to do first in my life so that I can, I can then have a life with you. I'm, I'm always coming across signs and all sorts of things that remind me of you. So they are showing you here that they are constantly being reminded of you. The angels, the creator, bringing in those signs, those, you know, synchronicities that remind them of you at all times. So that's what they are also saying. And they are also saying to you, I am opening my heart to our love. And I'm currently focused on becoming more stable, balanced, peaceful, grounded and calm. So they're letting you know what they are doing. You know that they're working on themselves. They're opening their heart to this love, realizing that you are their truth and their, and, and their true love. And they're saying to you, I am opening my heart to this love. You know, that's why they're saying, can you forgive me? Even if before they may have tried to get away from this love. Now they're opening their heart to this love and they're wondering if, if you forgive them, even if you have already, but this is in their own mind. And they are working on themselves, saying to you, I'm focused on becoming more more stable, balanced, peaceful, grounded, and calm, you know, calming the mind. But they're also working on freeing themselves from their karmic ties and their fears and everything that is holding them back. And they are saying to finish off, I dream of you walking down the aisle to marry me. So this is their dream. You know, they have nightmares of you being with someone else, but they dream of you walking down the aisle to marry them. This is what they are desiring, but they know that to get there, they have to release what is in the way first. And that's what they're working on right now. And that's what they're wanting you to know that the, your story has not ended yet. They're still working on themselves so that they can get to that point where you have that life together, where you walk down that aisle to marry them because they now know that you are their truth. They're seeing all these signs constantly being reminded that the two of you are meant to be together. And they're saying we were, more, we were born to be together in this lifetime. We were born for each other in this lifetime. And they're opening their hearts to this love, working on themselves so that they can move forward towards this life with you. And they dream of you walking down the aisle to be, to marry them. So really beautiful messages of what they are wanting you to know today. I hope you have a great day and a lovely rest of your weekend. Sending you all so much love.